everyone, it's Lexi and today I'm going to share with you my top historical fiction books. So the first book that I chose was Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein and this is just a very good um, book that and it talks about um, um, how in the early 1920s there was this thing called an orphan train where all the orphans within New York City would board on a train and they would go out to the Midwest to um, find parents and it goes between different stories between the present and the past and you follow these two stories of these two girls it covers the story of this girl who was on the orphan train and her story and how it kind of parallels with this girl from the present day so it's a very good book I highly recommend it and if you like historical fiction it's it's kind of heartbreaking just to see how the kids were treated and how this was actually a thing and it's neat because in the book they have they provide pictures of the actual orphan train and like the posters for it and all that so it's very very good read. The next book that I have is What She Left Behind by Ellen Marie Wiseman and this is a book about how a girl being sent to an insane asylum and kind of the culture around that and the stigma towards mental health um, during the 1900s and this was also a book like The Orphan Train that parallels between the past and then the present that has two stories dealing with both and like learning the stories of the two characters and how they kind of cross and um, this is a, a heartbreaking book and it's to see how actually these things did happen to the character that is in the Sane Asylum and I highly recommend this book it was probably one of the favorite one of my favorite books that I've read this year next book that I have is probably one that you're all familiar with and it is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and it's about um, a girl during World War II in Nazi Germany who likes books and it's what interesting about this book is that it's told from the perspective of death so and it just follows this girl's story with um, dealing with book burnings that took place during this time period and the um, the hatred people had towards people who were Jewish and it's just very interesting to see it told from the perspective of death but you also get to see it through the eyes of a child going through this period of time so it's a very good book I highly recommend it. The next book I have is The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult and this is again a very heartbreaking book about um, it's again two parallel stories between past and present and it deals with a, a girl whose grandmother um, survived the Auschwitz um, death camp and you kind of see how the story unfolds and it it makes you question forgiveness and like what you would forgive or are you willing to forgive someone who put you through this and the scenes with the death camp are just heartbreaking and it feels like it would actually be a true story and it was beautifully written and it's probably one of the favorite books that I've read this year. I highly recommend it to anyone who is interested within the Holocaust. And, and the characters are very likable. So I highly recommend this book. The next book that I have is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. And this is probably one that you've all heard about. It, um, it basically follows the story of two kids. One growing up in uh, Germany during World War II and then one during uh, a girl who's in France and their stories and how um, one of the great things about this story is that they you see it throughout different um, time periods throughout the war and you don't really understand how these two um, storylines are related but um, they actually do their paths do cross and it was just an amazing book to read and I highly recommend it the last book that I have is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna and it this was by far the best book that I've read this year. It is, um, tells the story of two sisters growing up in, um, who live in France during World War II. One of them ends up being um, working as like a spy, helping um, fi like fighter pilots who crash in France escape back into Spain and the other one is the sister who um, has kids and she's raising kids and she um, her house she has to um, open her doors to Nazi soldiers to live in and then there are two stories and um, this one goes between like the present day and then back into the 1940s and 
This one also is very heartbreaking, very well written, the best book that I've read this year. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the suggestions that I had for historical fiction books. Feel free to leave in the comments below some of your favorite historical fiction books, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!